Now, commercial drivers in the Fidiase in the Ashanti region embarked on a two-day industrial action to protest the high prices of fuel in their operations. All vehicles were grounded at the bus terminals by the drivers, leaving commuters stranded. Nanabuache Dankwa Yadom put a spotlight on the action. Here at the Efejazi station, drivers have refused to move their vehicles due to the high increase of fuel and diesel prices. They are complaining that the increment in fuel and diesel prices is really affecting them. The reason for our demonstration today is because of the fuel price increment. We are not able to accrue our profit after long hours of work. This is the reason why we have increased the price. The BC has spoken to us. Mm. The petrol price increment is unreasonable to us. Every time we go to the pump station, we are made to pay extra cash. Until government intervenes, we are not working in the next three days. We spoke to the district chief executive officer of Central East, Mr. Osei Ediya. Nioko Sunny Nano, a year and Nano, Cresciada, Yaman Penina, Naku for Adushia, or Mansa or near Casa or Casan for Nisun, or Cancer on Casa or Manu Munyadin, or Manu Mordin, Najina Bray, Jinanon, so ye Jina Baby, a horn so or two, into what the Chopa Maman for such or Panan. The president said in his address, the country is in crisis. We would plead with drivers to deploy more diplomatic ways to solve an issue. Reporting for Joy News, Nana Bwache, Dankwa, Yado. Well, joining us uh, uh, on this is the GPR. The GPR has been speaking on this matter and have been speaking about whether or not they are going to increase their fares, but they say that they won't spare Ghanaians this time. The OMCs, the OMCs, me, I'm seeing it like the government is not even able to even control the OMCs. They are coming out with their prices, okay? And even go to the, the, spare, pack, uh, the, spare, uh, the spare pass market. They are also doing their own things. We are not saying because of these things, we are also doing our own things. But this is our business that we are running. Can we continue on to, to work and, 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 and you know, lose all the time? Can we continue on to do this work and every day you see a driver you know, going home with empty handed? Are you getting it? So all these things is happening because the government is not living up to expectation. The promises that he has been given to the drivers, you know, are not coming. Now, drivers, drivers, drivers are suffering. That is why all these things are, are happening like that. So this is not a fault that, or this is not something that someone may, you know, uh, 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 put a blame on drive down drivers. This is a business we are also running. In fact, it's rather unfortunate. The other time I met a driver and he was even saying, you know, he has re even regretted being a, a, a commercial driver. Why is he saying so? Because, you know, a driver will work and he will not get anything. Are you getting it? So, Ben, uh, I know the situation now is, is getting out of hands. But I believe um, 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 passengers can has to also to uh, uh, understand the drivers, the situation in which the drivers are, are, are in now. So, so is this arbitrariness going to continue? Basically, what I'm saying is, let's assume this week or next week, Prices go up a little. Let's say diesel goes to about 24 cities or 25. And we are not hoping for that, but I'm just projecting hypothetically. And let's say maybe 
uh, fuel also goes up. I, I mean, petrol or something. Is that to mean we should expect fuel price increments as these uh, uh, transport fare increments, as the fuel price increments occur? Is, is that where we are now? Ben, I think now, now the, the, trans, the transporters are also coming up with this automatic adjustment system. For automatic formula. adjustment system. I see. Formula. <laughs> ben, now four prices goes up every day and every day. You know, when we had our 20% uh, uh, fair increment uh, way back in May, all right, we sat down the, the next month, the next month, that, that was uh, June, July, the four price went up again. We were supposed to come up with an increment. We didn't do that, thinking that the fuel price will come down. We waited that, and from, from May to uh, this uh, October that we went for this increment. Then for, the fuel price has gone up to about 42%, of which if we were supposed to increase our fare, we should have increased it by four, by, by, by four times. Even from the, the time we had this 19% that we, we, we jumped to 20%, up to now, it has been increased again for about 46%, meaning... And that, that our 10 percent threshold, you know, we have exceeded. So nowadays, if the fuel price goes up, that means the transport fares also has to go up because without that, we can't survive. We can't we can run our business. Then if it happens like that, and maybe if uh, 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 we, we cannot, you know, continue again, then the best way for us to to, to pack our vehicles because we cannot be running at a loss all the time. All, all right. So I just need clarity on two things very quickly, very quickly. So it means this AAS, or Automatic Adjustment System, that is what you've adopted now as the GPRTU. As the prices change at the pumps, you are also going to be changing your prices. Has this been approved by the GPRTU? And do you have a buy-in from other drivers' unions? I'm not saying it has been approved. But what I'm saying is that per what is happening now, I think that is the system we also has to adopt now. Because when we, we, go, uh, 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 we got to the 10% threshold, we waited. We didn't increase, thinking that the fuel price will come down. But now we have come to understand that there is no way the fuel price prices is going to, it's going to come down. Now, Nanabuache Iyadom has joined us uh, with more on what happened in Ashanti region. Nana, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's the latest on the situation when drivers were on strike yesterday? Right. Um, Koji, good morning, and uh, thank you for, for having me. So this morning, we came back to the Atabazi Junction uh, in the KEE municipality where drivers yesterday take the demonstration concerning the criminal um, hikes in poor prices. Now, they say that uh, even though they didn't have the MC of the area, Honorable Ibuapia, to send their petition to, they willingly have set a new price and fair for commuters who will be commuting from Atabazi Junction to Abrim Aguna and who will be uh, commuting from Abrim Aguna to Almina, respectively. Um, mm -hmm. On the 29th of October, the prices were at nine CD, uh, sorry, eight CDs and seven CDs, respectively. That is mm -hmm. those who will be um, uh, commuting from Atabazi Junction to Abrim Aguna. The fare was mm -hmm. at seven Ghana CD. Mm -hmm. But as of mm -hmm. this morning, of yesterday, after they finished their demonstration, they decided to go with 10 Ghana cities for those who will be traveling between Abrema Aguna and Ataba Junction and 15 Ghana cities from um, Elmina to um, Abrema Aguna. I had a chat with some of the leadership of the driver unions and they told me that even though the new fare hasn't officially been approved by the GPRTU, they are of the view that even if they, they are executive get to know that they have willingly increased the prices. They will start with them. They cited the fact that recently, a gallon of fuel was sold at 82 Ghana cities, and today it's more than that. So mm -hmm. they feel it is the need for them to also increase the fare to match up to their expenditure. Mm. Uh, okay, so, so th this is what drivers are doing to cope with the situation. Grateful, um, uh, Kojoa Moisi, for joining us there. So that... Uh, a reaction from uh, what happened in the uh, KEA yesterday when drivers also grounded their cars in protest of the uh, high fuel prices. So that has been how some drivers have been reacting to the increment in fuel prices in the country. They, they, they have uh, unilaterally started increasing their uh, fares. So today when you're going to join a public transport, be sure 
to um, uh, get, uh, you know, them giving you new prizes from what uh, you know. Now, uh, let's go on Zoom now and uh, uh, get an update on what is also happening elsewhere in the country. Uh, thanks for joining us. What's happening in, in your area? Okay, um, we'll, we'll try and uh, get him now. Uh, do we have him now? Okay. So if, if, if you can hear me, uh, what's the situation in, in your area, where you are? What can you report? So no. over here at Efijase, hmm. um, um, drivers here at Efijase Station are, are on route. They are demonstrating. And then their issue is that government has increased their four prices up until up to the stage where they cannot bear any more. This has really increased to the extent where passengers cannot even use vehicles anymore. They can't go to their workplaces anymore because of the high increase in food prices and then high increase in fare prices. I'm reporting from Efijase here. Um, drivers were on the streets of Efijase protesting seriously mm. against the increment in fuel and diesel prices. Mm. Mm. Um, at Efijase, the district chief executive officer came over to, um, to ensure calm. But then even when he came, the, the drivers were still not at peace. They still demanded a 20% increment. But then um, the district chief executive officer assured them of government intervention. Um, in as much as government is willing to intervene, the drivers also decided not to call off the strike or the demonstration mm. should government not do anything about it within the shortest possible time. Okay. So as at now, if you just say, drivers are even complaining that they, they are not even moving their vehicles at all. They are not moving their vehicles at all as at mm. now. Oh. So at Fijasi right now, drivers are still not at peace. They are still demonstrating. It's a three-day oh. demonstration, and then for now, they are not moving their vehicles. And the passengers are really, really stranded over there at Fijasi. Wow, that, that's an interesting development there. Thank you so much, uh, Nana, uh, for, for this update. So in Fijasi, they still have cars that have been grounded. Nobody is moving. Passengers are stranded. That's the... Uh, sorry situation in that area.